about to get a little infusion of man right now. I feel good about it. You're going wild out there and the camping and the hunting and the shooting, anything you're trying to do. You could wind up, though, in the middle of nowhere, life-threatening situation, and you don't know what to do until now. Why? Army Special Forces Captain and Special Ops Director, Mr. Mike Hawk, 25-year combat veteran, world-renowned survival expert. He's got a new book, Hawk's Green Beret Survival Manual. That's all you need to know because it is full. Look how thick it is. Full of practical tips. Mike, thank you very much. That's a shake. Good morning. This is going to be great. All right. So here is the kit you want to have with you at all times. This is what you must have. What is it? That's fact, Chris. I mean, the bottom line is it's that Boy Scout motto, be prepared. So the lighter it is, the more likely you're going to carry it. So it doesn't take much. A little bit of food, such as uh, jerky or a uh, food bar. It stores well, gives you a lot of nutrition. Something for carrying water, like a condom or a Ziploc. Something for starting a fire, like a lighter or matches. Something for shelter, like an umbrella or even a trash bag. Makes a great individual improvised shelter. And uh, something for signaling, uh, such as a light or a whistle or phone for calling for help. And you always need some kind of tool, like a little pen knife or a little multi-tool. Carry that. It's real small. You can carry it in your briefcase, carry it in your purse, carry it in your diaper bag and you're good to go. Just in case, if you know how to use it, which is why we need the book. Now, you're out there, you're alone, you get hungry. People are afraid. You say the key is do not be squeamish. It's a buffet out there. That's it. That's so, re literally, you can get nutrition from things like pine bark. Pine. You like the pine tree. That's your favorite. Well, yeah. I mean, the real rule for survival food foraging is it's got to be easy to identify. Mm -hmm. It's got to be prevalent. So anywhere you go, you're going to run into it. And it's got to be something that's plentiful. So when you're going to take the effort to eat it, you're going to get a good meal out of it. So things like dandelions, chuck full of vitamins, minerals, everywhere. And you could eat every bit of it. Then the pine tree is my favorite because, A, the pine cones give off the nuts, which are full of protein and fat. The bark underneath the dead outer layer, the little slimy skin, is just like eating kind of pine-flavored pasta full of carbohydrates. And then the pine needles, you can just chew on them or mix them up and boil them in a water like a tea, and it's uh, rich in vitamin C. Oh, wow. All right. So, so many tips. Let's pop through. What, give me the quick little rule for berries. Ah, uh, yeah. Very good. Very good. White and yellow, kill a fellow. Purple and blue, good for you. Red, 50-50. Could be good, could be dead. So to help narrow that down, what you got to do is uh, if they're growing in little clusters, they're probably not good. If they're growing in little singletons, they probably are good. Are good. All right, so that's the berries. Okay. Uh, this is to start a fire. You do not need to have matches or two sticks. What can you do? Well, if you don't have right. a lighter and you don't know how to rub sticks, then you want to try to improvise with whatever you can. So if you've got some steel wool and a battery, that's a good way to get a fire going. A magnifying glass or even bifocal glasses will work. Mag bars are really good, magnesium bars, because mm -hmm. you can dip them in the water for a year, pull them out, and still make a fire with them. Or any products you might have in your car, your purse, or whatnot that are full of alcohol. Common things are like the hand cleaners and the vests, the petroleum jelly, or any kind of cologne or aftershave. High uh, alcohol content will help get your fire started. Beautiful. We're running out of time because there's so okay. much great stuff to talk about here. So you're going to have to go online if you want to find out about your natural uh, infection fighters like garlic garlic, putting honey on a cut, how you can use flowers as a bug repellent. Everything's in the book. Go to abcnews.com. You can find out what Mr. Hawk has for you. Let me just hear that voice one more time. Wow, thank you very much. Good morning. That's, what else do you need? I need we have to work on getting me some of the, that voice.